Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a video I have seen this on Angelica's channel I will leave her channel and video down below and I'm going to talk about my palette pet peeves I think it's called like that and myself for some reason I like to watch like this negative videos I think that's why I did my the bad and the boring tag because for some reason I like that but I I'm kind of a negative person in real life, so maybe that's why. So, I'm going to talk about seven things that I don't like about palettes. And I, my hair, I'm so sick of this. I have talked about this before, I'm saving up my side cut. Um, right now it looks like this. I look like a boy or something with this hair, like a boy. N 1997! And I just want this shit to grow out because I don't think I will cut the rest of my hair until this is reasonable length and I don't like long hair and my hair grows like crazy. So okay, the pet peeves about the palettes and I think I'm going to show you some, I have some of these palettes that have my pet peeves and I'm going to show this these palettes so yeah we just get started okay so the first thing i hate the most is palettes that are made of plastic like this i hate it it feels so wobbly in some way and it feels like if i'm going to drop this if i'm going to if i will drop this it will break the palette will break and the shadows will break i hate plastic palettes i want them in cardboard i don't want like this tin can I think it's is it Too Faced that has them? I hate that one as well I want them in cardboard I want them to be sturdy magnetic I want cardboard palettes not plastic palettes the next thing is I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills as an example for this one and that's because I think the Anastasia this velour palette is a collector's item in some way. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I know a lot of people and also myself I have the most of them. And the thing I hate when they are doing palettes that are like a collective item. And they put the same shade in each palette. Another thing I hate and we can take the soul as example of this too. Or we can... Yeah the soul. Yeah. Uh, I hate when the shade's name is not in the palette. On this one it's on the back side and I hate this. I want to know which shade I am using and I don't want to flip the palette over. And there is a space to have the shade names. They have it in their... Yes please. Here the shade names are here and they're also on the back. But I hate when brands don't print the shade names in the palettes. I don't get this. I hate most with sleek. They have this plastic thing with all the shade names but they are not on the back side on the palette and not in the palette. And I want to know which shade I am using. And my next pet peeve, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I hate, I'm going to take the Queen of Heart as an example. It's when it's too much space in a palette. This is 12 shadows in this palette and in this is also 12. You see the difference? This palette is so freaking long. It's so hard to store and I think they could have jammed it together um, because Colourpop could I think the Colourpop shadows, they are smaller, but it's not such... Okay, it's a pretty big difference. But this one, it's, it's just... It's bulky and it's a lot of free space here and here. And I rather have them stacked on each other. So if they have moved this up here, because this is not a good format. And this is the worst palette I have, so I don't have so many palettes that is taking up so much space. Oh, I have these Too Faced and Kat Von D collab. 
this is the worst one I have. It's six shades in this one. And it's big as fuck. So I hate when palettes... I want them to be compact. Not too much free space. Like the Alien palette from Jeffree Star. It looks cool. But it looks like a nightmare to store it. Because how are you going to store that palette? I don't like that. Another thing I hate is small pans. Um, we can take this as an example. Um, this is Urban Case and Christian Lance's Kaleidoscope Dream. These palettes, these are typical for Urban Decay. And I didn't know I hated them until people start to talk about that they hate them. And I was like, yeah, I hate them too. This little thin palette. My brush is bigger than this. I don't like this. And when I realized it, I like... Maybe that's why I don't use my naked palettes. I don't, I don't like this format. Um, they are better when they are oh, like round or square. But these rectangular shapes, not a good shape. Another thing I really hate is this bulky packaging. Um, this is Lime Crime Venus 2. And this is so thick. And it's... I don't think it's so much in each pen, it's not. But this is so thick, it's so much cardboard. I don't understand why. It's nice to look at, but it takes too much space. I want them thin like this, not thick like this. And I also don't want them long like this, Queen of Hearts. Because this is, you have to store it like this if you want it standing. Because like this, it's taking too much space. I don't like it. I like like this size and like this size and like this size or the size of the C palette. This is not, but like of the magnetic palettes. I like that one. I hate when they are too long, too thick too high or anything just make them in a good format and my last little pet peeve i think this is the most annoying thing um it's palettes that are not foldable <laughs> it's not even called that like this one you can't fold this back so if you're going to do your makeup you have to hold it like this i want to fold it back like not this. This is so much easier to show, it's so much easier to hold. It's good if you want to use the mirror, you can hold it up like this. But if you don't want the mirror, it's easier if you just can do it like this. I hate that. And it's like, I think that's why I hate the plastic palettes, because they are never foldable. They always stay like this. I hate this. I hate it. This is my biggest pet peeves. No, this is not even a pet peeve. This is a hate that's growing inside of me. When I see this, I freaking hate it. Like with this. I just want to break this so I can... <clears throat> but I'm not going to. I think it's the same with the color pops. Yeah. Why? So sometimes I used to force the palette. This is working, but it feels like it's going to break. I just maybe have to warm it up. So I love when I can do this. I hate when I can't. So that was all the pet peeves I have about palettes. If you have any of these pet peeves or any other pet peeves, please let me know because, like I said, I like the negative things. I am a pretty negative person. And that's not a good thing to be, I think. But that's who I am. And I like to talk about not all good and happy things all the time. So if you have any pet peeves, please let me know. Because it's so fun to hear what other people think. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!